system has a, a breadboard connected to this external uh, flame sensor and we have a, for the microbit uh, sending this safe uh, code we have an extension connected to the uh, breadboard this um, fire sensor is going to set off an alarm that is uh, connected to the fire station uh, specifically very close to the first so now we're gonna show it to you Mention's name is Animal Tracking System, and so it works because it has a beacon here, and it's sending a radio alarm signal to this. So since it's really close to it, it's flashing close, and we have an alarm there. That when it says far, it will trigger a alarm to inform the park ranger that the animal is out of range. So Now it says far. And now the alarm, it says animal out of range. And it's going to trigger an alarm. And that's all. Thank you. Bye. When a boat comes near a restricted area in Costa Rica or anywhere, you the microbit feels the wave motion, and how the microbit feels the wave motion, it sets an alarm, and so you can see it like that. And it can hear uh, a gunshot that's a hundred plus uh, decibels. Uh, that's why our project is called DB. And now we're gonna show you how this works. So right now it's gonna say armed, and then we're gonna clap the highest we can, and it's gonna say gunshot. So right now it's sending a radio signal to the over the micro bit to uh, set off an alarm. Our invention name is the fish protector, and how it works is when you shake it, it does that. So yeah. Um, so it scares fish away from the, from the polluted areas and machines in the water. We designed and 3D printed this model, uh, which is the, the case. This is the lid. Oh, we have a, the micro bit protective case and the battery pack there. So um, this is the lid. We just attach it on. And this is how it works. So basically how it works is that when the micro bit detects that the, fee, the, the tree has fallen, and we will send like a radio signal to our alarm and it will trigger like a really, a, like a really loud sound so they can detect it. Um, this, this is modeled as our tree. Um, in, in a real case scenario, it would most likely be destroyed, but this is how it works. <laughs> plastic and aluminium then we slap a button then till it gets to 10 it's gonna send a radio signal alarm that's gonna sound this is the buoy protecting Israel Coco over here we have the control tower from the police here's the boat that wants to cross Israel Coco the big tri uh, rectangle or square shows that it's out of range. Once it gets closer, it shows that it's getting near range, alerting people in the boat to not continue. If it crosses and shows a diamond, it means you've gone too far and police have been alerted. Over here, 
police know that the boat has crossed Israel Coco and are coming to get him. So we have two servos that represent the pumps that we will be giving to the plants or the trees. So we have a breadboard that gives all the system like the energy and we have a microbit that gets a signal from this other microbit that is the controller. So when we touch A, it, it gives pumps to the plants. So here we have a model jellyfish. So our idea is kind of you, we are helping, a, we are helping a jellyfish in danger. So here's our demonstration. When someone sh shake it, shakes it, it sends, it sends us a, ra a radio signal. Message. By shining light on this, which would mean it, uh, sun is shining on it, it has a meter level that detects how much sun is hitting it. Now if I take it off, it will stop uh, the pump after it has finished the cycle. And this mean like this has a, well, would have something connected to it that collects water to pour onto the crops and uh, soil. This is, um... Um, a pressure plate and when you step on it um, it puts an, it says 911 and an and alarm it, goes off and uh, another microphone in a ring in a, in a ring. Mm -hmm. uh, well, once you touch uh, the ground and the trigger it should send uh, a string to the receiver right there so It'll, it'll appear shortly. Mm -hmm.